All right, what's up, Stock Family, and what's up, YouTube? This is not financial advice. This is just my opinion. What I think about AMC and what I think about what's going on right now, because I know a lot of people is thinking 10%. Oh, wow, that's nothing. Those are the same people that last week, when it was down, 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 nothing but down, were saying, don't buy it. Stay away from it. They're going to continue to say that until we get another green day, until this continues to happen and we start to see a turnaround in AMC, then they're gonna start jumping on board and they're gonna start talking about AMC more. But whenever I look at AMC days like today, I look at it like, like it's a, a pipe under pressure. They just, they just letting a little bit of pressure out. And why do I say that? Because you look at the market overall and if you don't believe in market ma makers and market manipulators and they helping out and they, they're doing a little bit here to, to let off pressure here, then you haven't been in the market long enough. Look at the market. Crypto is down again. It should not be this low. It should not be this cheap. So they got all of the pressure. They got maximum pressure right now on crypto. Um, banks are down. A lot of big stocks are down today. Uh, the SPY is down. Last time I looked, it was down at least. So they have pressure still in all these different areas but they're letting it off a little bit on BB. They're letting it off a little bit on GME. Last I looked, GME was, you know, up and then trading sideways on a green day. Don't make sense to me. So of course, like I, that's why I'm making this video because I know a lot of people aren't going to see it. Whatever. I don't make it for the, the I don't make it for the views. I don't make it to do anything other than this is what I'm interested in. And this is what I'm seeing. These are my views. These are my opinions. And across the whole market. You can see where they're letting pressure off and where they're applying more pressure, keeping it the same. And yeah, because that's what, what people are going to look at AMC. Oh, wow, just 10%, whatever. It'll keep going down. It'll keep going down to $5. Yeah, when they apply more pressure to it, it will. But eventually, they're going to have to let go. They're going to have to ease up on the pressure because I've already made videos on why I think that's going to happen. There's just too much going on. There's every stock is looked at different and traded differently and its valuation is appraised differently. It's just the fact of the matter. And almost all of these big corporations are in debt up to their eyeballs and they're not making near the amount of their debt level. So look at crypto. Crypto's down. AMC's having a good day. Yeah, but it's not they're going they're going to keep it tugged down a little bit once they apply more pressure to it. And, um, you know, you can see it in the market. Just look at the market where the pressure is applied and where they let off and they ease up to, to put more pressure where they already have it. It's just how it, how it goes. Um, you know, the house always wins, but eventually there's, there's points of pressure that they can't keep down forever. And those are the squeeze. Those are the pumps. And um, it's only a matter of time before AMC has a really good day after really good day after really good day. Yeah, 10% is nothing, but this is just the beginning. Every day is a new day. And every day the stock seems to be way undervalued. So it's only a matter of time before we get back to $10. And I, I told you guys, back to $8, this is a step. Back to $9, that's a step. Back to $10, we're getting there, we're going there. You know, I'm not I'm not making any crazy predictions here, but you can see if you've been watching the market long enough where there's fear and there's doubt and there's uncertainty. Now you're starting to get a little bit more certainty in the AMC stock. And the more it goes green, more green days we have, the more YouTubers are going to make videos. They're going to start talking about it when they were negative on the stock the whole time. You know, it's just it's just how it goes. People are going to jump on the bandwagon and off the bandwagon, but amc looks really undervalued here it's a great buy i've been making videos on it and they're gonna have to let off on amc here because they're gonna have to let it get get back up there because the interest in it and i mean interest in uh short interest and i mean interest in people looking at the stock and, and buying more is only going to increase the cheaper that it is now that's how i see it i know a lot of things have happened before a lot of things are going to happen in the future but it doesn't, these things don't happen overnight, all right? Nobody that invested in Tesla in the early days was happy enough with the time frame that it took to get to where it is today. The early investors in Amazon, best believe it was cheap. 
and it took a long time for it to get to where it is today and people are going to say well you can't compare different companies of course you can't compare different companies because they don't want you to look at the overall market and what's happening with other stocks and the other manipulation and the other price gouging and stuff that's going on in the market fact of the matter is, is amc is cheap and it's it's going up baby